The older you get, the more a piece of paper can mean. So letters, cards, or even an I love you sticky note can feel like something worth saving. Today we're sharing a few strategies to help you keep all the sentimental papers in order and in the process, declutter the mess. Professional organizer Jenny Layton is joining me to share advice. It's great to see you. Thanks. So we often talk about like kids' artwork or schoolwork piling up. Do the same strategies apply for things like cards or sentimental letters? We, it can, but I think you need different strategies for different kinds of memorabilia. So mm. today specifically, I think we're going to talk about those sweet love notes that we get from our family and friends. I recently just collected, for me it's cards, yes. like from my grandma and my mom over the years, and all I did is shove them in a tote. So I'm right. assuming there's something better to do. Well, there is. That's it's not altogether wrong, but there's these different levels we want to talk about of how we can get organized. So all right. we'll talk about that today. Level one, you don't have to save it all. You don't have to save it all. You know, I'm a professional organizer, so it's my job to keep your home free from clutter, yeah. right? So you don't have to save everything. A lot of times I think we think if someone took the time to give it to us, we owe it to them to save it, but you really don't have to. So there's some questions you can ask yourself to know when you should and shouldn't keep it. Please tell me. Okay, so the first one is, is it handmade or handwritten or is something about it just extra special. Okay. I think we kind of know those are the ones we want to save, but let's put that filter on and make sure we're not just saving everything. Okay. You know, the second one is how many of these kinds of things do I already have from the same person? So if I have 18 birthday cards from my grandma, I don't right. need to save. Just 18. save a couple special ones. Yeah. Yeah. And then the third one is, does it just give you that true like warm fuzzy feeling? You know, I mean, memorabilia should mean something. And if it's just kind of you're keeping it out of obligation, it's not really serving its purpose. So keep that in mind when you're deciding what to keep in the first That's place. That's a good word check to obligation, yes. right? Because you do feel that pressure to... Yes. I mean, throwing it in the garbage sometimes feels like the worst thing in the world, but it's not. Yeah, you just have to tell yourself, I don't need to keep it all and I have to protect my space because we have so much stuff. Yeah. So we've got to be smart about it. Level two involves our phones, our cameras. Right. We live in a digital age, so make it digital if you can. You know, take a picture. You can even upload it to an album right in your phone. Mm. So if you want to flip through all your sweet notes on your phone, isn't that a great option? Yes. Better than digging around in the basement to find those boxes of love notes you'll probably really never look at very much. Totally. So create an album for that. Yeah. And yeah. just keep those in there. Just keep it in there. And late, if you want to, later on, you can print, you know, a chat book or some digital scrapbook. So that's an easy way to flip through it. But again, you're just not keeping all those miscellaneous yes. papers. All right. If we do want to keep a physical copy, we've thought about it. We've gone over that question criteria and decided it's worth keeping. You say it needs to have a designated place. Yeah. So a big clutter tip here is something always needs to have a place before it enters your home. Mm. So when you bring it in, you know exactly where you're going to put it. I love that. So I don't think what you're doing is wrong, Brooke. I I think having a box that you toss it in is great because it keeps you off your counter and you know where to find it. So if you've already gone through and decided what I will and won't keep, I just wanted to bring this box as a great example. This is an acid-free, lignin-free box mm. that's really good for memorabilia. It has kind of this open part that you can pull cards out of, oh, but it keeps smart. things from yellowing. It preserves them really well. Dust and light can't get in it. So this is a great box and I have a link for it. I'll let everyone know where to find it. Oh, good. But this is one great way that you can just know, just toss it in. Yeah. And then you're going to get it done. I'm all about just make sure you get it done. Don't leave it out. Don't make it too hard. Right. I'm okay with level three. I think that's great. But there is a level four. Okay. What's that? About that? Yes. Okay. So if you want to make it really easy to look through, putting it in a binder with some page protectors that you can flip through is an extra little step. Up, but then you can look at it. And I loved this container. So let me show you this one. Let's Again, acid-free, lignin-free. Oh my thing. goodness. But isn't this cool? Oh, this it is has, slick. Yeah, it has, um, you can get page protectors. And again, I've got links to show this as well. But um, yeah, this is so that you can look through it and keep it nice and organized. So ar archival box, Yeah. but it has the page protect. This is what I need. This is yeah. level four. I'm a level four girl now, Jenny. <laughs> Thanks to We've you. We've raised a level. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. This is just an Amazon find too. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh my gosh fantastic I see funeral um, service yeah. um, this is just I notices. kept all this stuff I kept my son's um, graduation announcement and this was such a cute one too once when I started my business I got this cute note from a neighbor Aww. says you can do this and I was feeling so discouraged oh, to flip through that and see that is so helpful yes so, okay yeah. this is brilliant where can we find the links to these products okay. and get more advice from you okay so Jenny laid or nope sorry the happy gal.com slash love notes for all of these links okay and then come find me on my podcast the life organized podcast we do a lot of fun things there it's a great link Listen, the podcast, a good yes. girlfriend to have on the other end of the speaker, yeah. but also you leave feeling empowered to make small changes like this, get our life organized and say goodbye to clutter. Jenny, thank yeah. you. Thanks for having me. All right.